Hey everyone, how's it going? It's me, Chaotic Shadow 24 and welcome to a brand new episode of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. In today's episode, we are finally doing this shrine, Telo Naig's Teaching. Telo Naig Shrine. Alright, uh, oh, there's two chests here. Okay, there's a chest here. I'll take this one first. What could it be? It is... An eight-fold blade, a single-edged sword traditional to the Sheikah tribe. Forged using ancient technology, it just may be among the sharpest conventional weapons ever made. Okay, that's pretty cool. What's in this one, I wonder? Come on, hup, there you go. Alright, what's inside? It's... Shield of the Mind's Eye, a small Sheikah-made shield. Its design is intended to decrease blind spots without sacrificing too much defense. My inventory is full. Okay, that's great. Well, I'm sorry, Tello Naik, but I'm gonna have to uh, drop a shield. A gross uh, Bacoblin shield, there you go. I'm sorry for littering within your beautiful, beautiful shrine. Look at this. All right, shield of the Mind's Eye, wonderful. Uh, okay, oh hey, there's a big pit in the floor. What the heck? Whoa. All right, I guess not anymore. <laughs> What the heck is this thing? We've seen something similar to this. Use a side hop to avoid enemy attacks. This will create an opening that can that you can use to strike back. Sorry, I'm I haven't talked in a hundred years. Side hop, dodge enemy attacks by hopping sideways. I know that. I can do that. First I gotta lock on. Oh, right, you know what? I should probably use the weapons that were given to me, since this is some sort of, like, challenge, you know? I know I have the flame blade and the and uh, the soldier's claymore, but whatever. We'll, we'll stick with what we got. Alright, so sidestep to dodge. That I can do. Yeah, there you go. I should probably dodge away from the blade, not towards it. And there you go. Gotcha. Alright. Do a backflip to avoid enemy attacks and create an opening to strike back. Are you Bender? This is like, uh, hey, I know you're going against this giant murderous robot, but hey, do a backflip. <laughs> anyway, come on, huh? there you go, you sucker. Gotcha. All right, what now? Show me what you got. You can repel an attack if you parry with your shield at just the right time. Strike back in the opening you create. Okay. Uh, oh yeah, perfect guard. I knew this existed. We figured this out long ago. All right, come on, bring it on. Oh, I tried, I tried. Gotta get a sense of the rhythm. There you go. All right. Oh, what? <laughs> what the heck? Build up your power and then release it to unleash a charge attack. Catch your enemies in this motion to damage them. Build up your power. Okay, I can do that. And, huh, gotcha. What the heck is this? Uh, oh, God, look out. Oh, that was a really late reaction time. I would have died by then from that explosion. You have done well to learn these crucial skills. Now, proceed. Will do, crazy ominous voice. Da 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 dum. Cool. Alright, ancient shafts, and what the heck is this? Guardian Sword, a sword often wielded by Guardian Scouts. Its blue energy blade is a product of ancient technology. It's not very durable. What? Well, I guess it's more like technological damage than uh, than combat damage. Uh, that's the thing in Wildstar, I believe. Uh, all right, let's see what's in here. I guess this is our prize. What could it be? What's in here, old man? An opal. You're hiding a gross, shiny rock in this beautiful tomb shrine thing? Old man, this has got to be some kind of joke. Well, at least I got a sword out of it, so there's that. Okay, yep. We're just gonna have to watch this again. Your triumph over the test of strength subverts a prophecy of ruin. From the ashes of Hyrule, a hero rises. In the name of Goddess Hylia, I bestow upon you this spirit orb. Alright, gimme. Well, I'm just gonna skip this. Da, da, na, na, na. Great. May the goddess smile upon you. And then he disappears. Yada, yada, yada. I'll meet you guys outside the shrine. Ah, here we are. Beautiful Kakariko Village. Ah, what a pleasure it is, you know? I love this place. Anyway, we did that. We did the shrine. That was great. That was fun. So, what now? What do we do now? 
Shall we check the Book of Worries again, mayhaps? Let's go. Let's check out the Book of Worries within Impa's uh, abode, and we'll see what we got. Uh, we've been kind of following that as a guideline. Pai is still cleaning. Uh, hey, let's see. First page, we know about the Kakus. We know about the painter. What's next? Okay, yeah, yeah, what's next? That new guy in town looks like he really knows how to tune a bow. I hope he comes by and knocks an arrow for me. It's been way too long. Lonely arrow girl. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> is this like, is this gonna be a blind date? Knock an arrow for her? What the heck does that mean? Well, I, I'm kinda looking forward to seeing what that does mean. <laughs> Let's go, this is the arrow store by the way, I've been in here. Uh, I just opened the door and I, I left like immediately. I was like, oh, that's a store. Uh, plus there's a sign out front, of course. So, hello, lonely arrow girl, what's up? Yeah. Rola, that's a pretty name. I can't remember the last time we had a customer in here. Young folks in this village don't have much use for a bow. It's a thrill to see a young lad like you come into the shop. Well, don't mind me, take your time looking around. Uh, I wanna sell. <laughs> what are you going to sell me? I'm excited to find out. Uh, okay. I didn't really actually want to sell, but I might as well. Uh, I guess we could sell this stuff. It's sort of taking up space, but, eh, I don't think it's that important. Let's sort that. Um, we'll sort that too. I could sell some of this stuff. I don't know what to sell. Bacoblin stuff? Oh, we can sell all of these, you know? All of them? 344, yeah. There you go, that's worth a lot. I guess I'll keep these. Uh, oh, the sapphires, of course. Sell so those. Do I have any other pretty minerals? <laughs> I don't think so. There's an amber. Uh, what about the opal? Nah. Luminous, luminous stone? Can be used as a base to make special clothing. Okay, that's cool. I don't really have anything else to sell. Please come again! Okay. Nox an arrow for me. What does that mean? You... You want me to, like, shoot something? You? No, I wouldn't do that. I'll just burn everything you've worked so hard to create. How about that? What is happening here? Wow, that was weird. Hey, can you... Can you tell me what's wrong? Nothing? I guess this was just an introduction to get here, you know? Uh, I'll take these all, by the way. So all of them, that will run you about 50 rupees. That's good. Thank you. And we've got a lot of, uh, a lot of arrows here as well. This is actually a really good deal, because the other arrows, separately, they cost five bucks. Uh, this one is 20 bucks, so we're getting a five bucks discount. That's cool. Wait, that was worth 40 rupees? I wasn't paying attention. Well, whatever. Oh yeah, because we bought two of them. Uh, fire arrows. I guess I could buy those. Uh... Okay, I don't know, never mind. See, these are worth 20 each, and these are worth 80. So, that's a $20 discount. That's really cool. Uh, anyway, let's see. What do we do now? I guess we'll check out the, the Book of Worries once again. I don't know what to do. Hello, Paya. You look as beautiful and cute as ever. Wait, you're not usually standing here. What's up with you? If you need anything, please find it here in our village. The clothing shop, materials shop, general shop, and inn should be able to provide everything you need. Oh, and just between you and me, there's also a shrine in the hills of this village. They say up behind those hills resides Kakariko's guardian spirit. I hear she's incredibly beautiful. I'm too intimidated to go see for myself, though. It's said that she offers a special blessing to those that visit her. You should go there and see for yourself. All right, will do. You also have a wife, big guy. You best you best get rid of those fantasies of yours. Uh, I mean, I, I assume so. They have kids, but maybe he's a single father or something, which would be really sad. Okay, anyway, let's see what was after that, um, the lonely, the lonely arrow girl one. Day in, day out, I'm outside barking people into the shop. Oh, this is the, the fireflies chick. Okay, next page. There is a precious heirloom that has been passed down through my family for generations. Recently, I've begun to hear voices telling me that the heirloom has an important destiny. It's going to happen soon. It makes me nervous, but I can feel it in my bones. Oh, that's just regarding the the ball thing right there. Well, huh, I guess there's nothing else to do in this village. We've done pretty much everything, haven't we? I do want to check out the produce store again really quick. Give me six, I don't care it to all. <laughs> Anyway, I want to go in here, I want to buy some stuff. This goat butter especially looks good to me, so I'll take all of those. 
60 rupees, that's not bad. I'll take all the Bacoblin Guts as well. Wow, they're worth 80, but I mean, it says perhaps it has a use. I, I noticed that ages ago and it makes me think maybe they're important, you know, like perhaps. that That's kind of foreboding, you know? Uh, Swift Carrot. Wow, those cost a lot. Bird eggs, those cost a lot. Can't I just steal them? Hey, Teresa, how's it going? Yeah. Do you need something else? Uh, have I ever talked to you? <laughs> Recommendations. Oh. Recommendations, let me think. Well, everything I sell, really. But if you want specifics, there's always Swift Carrots. My mister grows them. They put Kakadiko Village on the map. Actually, to be honest, there's one other crop Kakadiko is known for. Fortified pumpkins. I'd sell them here, but you see, my mister and the pumpkin father... Farmer, sorry. They don't exactly get along. And if you want fortified pumpkins, you'll have to get some straight from Olkin's patch. So, so if you want fortified pumpkins, sorry. That's fair enough. Do you need something else? I want to cook. Do you have any recipes or something? Oh. Just put some ingredients into a pot and cook them up real good. All right. Do I need anything else? No. Okay, I'm good. I think what I what I want to try and do is I want to mix fortified fortified pumpkins and swift carrots. Let's see. Let's see what that makes. Wait, did I buy all of them? I did not mean to buy all of them. I meant to buy five of them. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. She seemed really happy though. What if we just like, I mean, I've 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 bought enough, you know. Like, I've spent a lot of my rupees anyway. Might as well buy all this stuff as well. I can't. I don't believe it. We sold them all. Well, that's just dandy. I'm so grateful. So. You're all out of stock now. All sold out. I can picture my mister smiling about it already. How very wonderful. But this also me means I need him to get out there and grow some new goods. All right, so, darn. I spent like $500 worth on carrots. That's not good. Anyway, it might be worth it. Let's try and mix some carrots and two pumpkins. Wow, they're really tiny. There you go. I want to see what mixing the two rivals, uh, crops does, you know? Here we go, what is this gonna be? Fried wild greens, a basic vegetable dish made by sauteing fresh wild plants. Ah, oh, that's cool. Uh, let's see, what if we mix everything that we bought there? So we bought carrots, we bought eggs, we bought goat butter. Goat butter, goat butter. I'm not gonna put uh, bacoblin guts in this one. Goat butter, where's the goat butter? Oh, there it is. I better um sort that, there you go. Okay, let's see what this makes. Please be yummy! Done! What is it? Hasty Omelet grants a low level movement speed boost. This special dish is common all over Hyrule. Simply fry egg until it's nice and plump. Simply fry egg. <laughs> okay, I also want to get this Endura Carrot. Uh, we'll mix it, well, no, we shouldn't mix it with something that raises your swiftness. So, we'll get carrots and the pumpkin. Maybe some meat. There you go. Add some meat in there, you know. There you go. Alright, let's see what we what we make. Something good? Please. Meat stuffed pumpkin. This hollow meat filled fortified pumpkin is a local specialty specialty of Kakadiko's village. I love how I got through meat filled fortified pumpkin, but not specialty. <laughs> that was a tongue twister and then one word messed me up. What a bummer. Uh wow, this is such a pretty view, isn't it? That's really pretty. Look at the birds up there, too. Wow, just flying around, and now they're gone. <laughs> now, they're, now they've now they disappeared. Anyway, I think that's gonna do it for this episode. I mean, uh, well, no, we're like 16 minutes in. What am I doing? I guess we'll leave the village? Man, I don't even know. Sahasra Slope? Oh, that's right, We I wanted to go to Lantern Lake. I said that in the last episode, right up there. How are we gonna get up there, I wonder? I think I should go around. Yeah, okay. What we'll do is we'll go over here. Let me call my horse. Wait, no, I don't even need to. Don't worry, horsey. It's fine, it's fine. I don't really need you, buddy. Now I gotta wait for him. He's gonna come running up to us any moment now. Darn. What is this? Hang on. There's... Yeah, this. What the heck is this? Oh, that's that shrine, isn't it? Wait. I can go there? Oh no, that that's the one like way down below. Okay, there's a shrine there. I forgot to change the waypoint for that, or the stamp rather. Um. Anyway, I don't think I made it clear. The reason why I'm going over here is because it seems as though there are little ledges that I can go up. 
uh, according to the map, so that's what we're gonna do. I just have to wait for my horsey. Uh, he's coming, don't worry. Here he comes. You guys can see him, right? Hey, buddy. Come on, run faster. Are you just walking? Come on, little guy. He's just chilling out. Dude, get your butt over here. Alright, alright, alright. You good? You good. Okay, he's good. Anyway, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my climbing bandana on. We're gonna need this. There you go. Uh, let's see, what else do we need? Do we have any food that raises stamina? It doesn't look like it. Oh, yes, we do. Okay, oh, I see. There's little icons on the actual picture. That's cool. Whoa, what the heck happened there? Can I do that again? How did I do that? Ah, that's how. That's pretty cool. Okay, anyway, sorry. Uh, you know what I should do? Let's get something that raises haste. There you go. And we'll climb extra fast now. Oh, there we go. Look how fast we're going up. That's perfect. Okay, that's gonna last four minutes. Our stamina seems to be going down faster as a result, but you know, that's okay. It doesn't even matter. All right, we're up. Just gotta wait a little while. Oh, we can go down there, but eh. Look at the towers and stuff. Wow. This game is so beautiful. Like seriously, that really does look like a bird. It looks like he's going, Meh, I'm a bird, I'm in the sky. <laughs> uh, anyway, sorry, I'm getting a little tired, I think. All right, let's head up here. I'm just gonna uh, jump through this and then we'll eat this. There you go. All right, we're doing well, no problem. I'm glad that didn't lower my speed, actually, thank goodness. Um. So, the reason why we're going up here, if you didn't realize, is because I'm trying to get to Lantern Lake. I feel like there's something in the lake, or perhaps around the lake. Maybe there's a shrine up here of some sort. I'm not sure, but I really, really want to figure it out. Uh, wow, this is a lot more rigorous than I expected it to be. Where is the lake? Ah, there it is. Wow. It's so pretty. Alright, uh, do you think there is anything down there? There could be, you know? I'm actually just gonna get over here really quick. And we're gonna climb up. There you go. I wanna see this in all its glory, you know? Look at the village down there. Wow. Oh, this game is so pretty. So beautiful. I'm so happy. I'm so proud. I'm so proud of Nintendo. Aijiao Numa, you talented bastard. Alright, come on. Go up faster, man. A little more. There you go. What the heck is that? Oh, it's a... Uh, that's part of the mountain. Come on, climb, fool! Whoa! Blue nightshade! And silent shrooms! How cool! Okay, we're in the middle of this thing now. I don't think there's anything here. I think we wasted our time coming up to... Oh, God. I think we wasted our time coming up to this place. Wait, what the heck is this? It's a chest! Get out of the ground, boy! Whoa! Oh, no! Oh, no! No, 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 no! Oh crap, where is that going? I'm coming for you. I need this thing. What kind of sick joke is that? There you are. I see you down there. I can't even get it. Oh darn. Okay, well, it's fine. I almost dived down there. That could have been bad. Wait, there's two chests? What in Sam hell is going on? All right, is this the one that fell or what? I have no idea, but you, you get up there, okay? There you go, perfect. And there's one down here as well. Up you come. That was some kind of cruel joke. Also, I just realized, how am I gonna get over to the other side? Uh, can I glide? Ah, damn. I almost drowned. That could have been bad. Oh, there you go. I mean, you don't die in water, but, you know. Immersion. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, come on. Up we go. Let's see what we got. What are, what is within these chests? Oh, they're both gold. I don't know which one was at the top of that mountain, but hopefully these are good. Eightfold long blade. Wow. What the heck? Oh, this one's different from the short blade. A single edged sword seldom seen in Hyrule. The weapon is passed down through the Sheikah tribe and has an astonishingly sharp edge ideal for slicing. Cool. So, yeah, that's different from the Eightfold Short Blade. Awesome. Wow, it's like a katana. Or Marimusa, I don't know the, I don't know the difference. What's this? Something else cool? 
Fer Frenic Bow? A bow passed down through the Sheikah tribe, concentrating before drawing the string will allow you to target distant enemies as easily as those nearby. I wonder what that means. I wanna have a look. All right, bring this out. Choose those. Phrenic bow. Oh, I get it. Okay, so if we get out of that, if you use this one, see, it shows Link in front, like on the screen. You guys can see that, he's on the screen. But when you use this one, oh, first person. How cool is that? That's awesome. Can I walk around in first person? Da 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 da. No, it doesn't work. Wait, what if I. What if I. No, it doesn't work. Bummer. Well, I can't sort of walk around like this. Wait, what the heck is going on? You okay? You okay, dude? Ooh. Lady Empa is sleeping. I suggest you wait until tomorrow to seek counsel with her. Simply sit in front of the tranquil flight. That's perfect. Okay, I'm gonna go steal that ball. Let's see if we can steal it. <laughs> I really need it, okay? She ain't sleeping. You ain't sleeping. Wait. Oh, she's sleeping. Okay, well, I'm out. Sorry to bother you, but I still want to try. Dang it. Okay, whatever. Anyway, I think we're going to end it here. We sort of just derped around. Uh, in the next episode, I think we'll head to Hateno Village next. Yeah. That should be good. We'll go to Hateno Village. Which is all the way over here. Okay, geez, ooh, yikes. Uh, we're gonna have to go down this path again and then go east. Cool, okay, and that should take us right there. So that should be really fun. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Peace out.